we go to Ryan Elliott. Uh, Ryan, please unmute and uh, go ahead. Hi, Kel. Thank you for your time. Just a quick one from me. How significant is it for you going into this fight, not having that rehydration clause for a big welterweight such as yourself? You know, to be honest with you, on our I've made weight this this time. It won't. It's not that much of a big deal, but I suppose it is a big deal to be honest with you because I don't want to be thinking about watching me water and watching me food intake. You know, I just want to. I just want to weigh in and relax and then concentrate on the fight instead of concentrate on making the weight again. So. It's going to be something different to making well to it and then just focusing on Terence Crawford instead of the way he checked. Thank you very much. And now we go ahead to Jake Donovan from Boxing Scene. Jake, please go ahead when ready. Great. Thank you very much, Evan. It's actually perfect timing. Kel, I did want to ask, what was the biggest change that you made in training camp to uh, ensure that you're able to make well to weight since this is your first well to weight fight in three years? You know, losing weeks, you know, just being around with Sheffield and losing weeks, just uh, not really, full, you know, being around my surroundings, what I'm normally used to and just, you know, not being as strict as I could be on the diet. What I did when I knew, I knew that I needed to get away as soon as possible to form and sure where when I'm waking up and I know that my girls aren't around me and I'm waking up in a different country knowing that I'm going to the gym and I'm, I'm, I'm doing it for a reason, you know, I made, made sure that the training were hard and the, the dieting were hard from, from the from the first week I knew this fight were on. Okay, great. Thanks. Good to have you back, Cal. Best of luck this weekend. Thank, thank you, Jake. Thank you. And, now, and now we go at Carlos Toro. Please unmute and ask a question when ready, sir. Hey, Cal. Thanks so much for taking time to talk to us. You know, obviously kind of going off a little bit of a, a Jake's question. The... Going back to just making the adjustments and heading down to, to welterweight, when it comes down to now having to deal with the bubble and everything that comes with the current pandemic situation that we got going on, how much different and how difficult has it been to kind of get everything just situated, done, and also having to go down to welterweight with it being your first fight in, in that weight? You know, I, I, like I said, I started earlier, so I've got... I, I I had in the planet getting ill. These kind of these kind of situations, I made I made uh, time early doors just for in case I got ill or in case these kind of things happen. So we're well ahead, you know. And everybody's making way. Everyone's everyone's in the same, you know, doing the same thing. You know, everyone everyone's finding it tough with this COVID. But I'm in a great great place in my mind and my weight is fantastic for, <coughs> for this fight. So. Forget the way the way it's made. <laughs> Thanks, Cal. Best of luck on Saturday. And thank you, Carlos. And uh, we go ahead to, uh, back to the UK. Jonathan Nagoff. Jonathan, please unmute when ready, sir. Hey, Carl. John here from Pro Boxing Fans. Hope you're well. Um, where would a win over Terence Crawford firstly rank compared to your victory over Sean Porter? And uh, secondly, just a message to the UK fans tuning in, tuning in on Premier Sports on Saturday night. Yeah, um, I think it's got to be above the Sean Porter just for just for everything I've been through. Everyone writing me off. Um, just I think you've got to put it up there because this is the pound for pound best fighter in the world, you know. And um, you've got to put it as number one. You know, nobody's done that in history from Britain. And I'm glad that all the fans are built to see it on Premier Sport, like you said. You know, they're going to stay up and uh, enjoy me becoming two-time world champion. And thank you very much, Jonathan. And uh, we, go, we next go ahead to Ernesto Amador. Ernesto, please unmute and answer your question when ready, sir. Oh, one more. I actually got to unmute one more time, Ernesto. I accidentally muted you. Ernesto? Oh, th there you go. Okay. Thank you, Ernesto. Uh, Kelly, it's always a pleasure to have a conversation with you. Let me ask you one question. For most of the fighters, it looks impossible against Crawford, but not for you. Could you explain this? Because I truly believe that you can be a nightmare. Yeah, listen, my style, I can box orthodox southpaw, you know, you know, I've got great balance, great timing. I'm a big welterweight, the power's there, the mindset's there, you know, so I'm, I'm definitely, you know, a fighter, what is a very scary fighter, you know, when I'm on point and I'm feeling the way I am, I'm dangerous for any fighter in any way division in the world, so 
you know, I'm I'm very focused and this is my moment now. And, you know, I've I'll be able to compete with the best and you'll see me from round one, you know, take control of this fight. Thank you very much. And uh, now we go back to Gaz from behind the gloves. Gaz, please unmute and ask your question when ready, sir. Hey, Kel, it's Gaz uh, from behind the gloves. A few people have touched on it already, but you're a big welterweight. You're bigger than Crawford. You're broader than Crawford. Do you think that your your size is going to play a factor in this fight? And were you actively looking to put those chocolate brownies on? Yeah, them chocolate brownies, they're definitely brewing up. They're cooking up nicely now. And I'm the, I am a, I am the bigger guy. You know, and it's everything, it's all about preparation and, you know, the hard work's done before the bright lights. So I've been grueling it out for months, dieting hard for months, and 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 you'll see the hard work, what I've put in, come Saturday night, you'll see the shape of me on the scale, you'll see me refueled, relaxed, and uh, ready to let them brownies go. Okay, thank you very much. I can't believe it took us 15 minutes for chocolate brownie reference. So, Gaz, you are the MVP of this call so far. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, next, we go to Cynthia Conte from Ring TV. Cynthia, you should be unmuted, so please go ahead when ready. Cynthia, you're, uh, un uh, you're unmuted, Cynthia. Please go ahead. Uh, Kel, I know that you've had some incredible wars against Errol Spence and Gennady Golovkin. And unfortunately, you suffered two orbital broken bones. Many people thought you would retire after those fights, after the wars. What was that conversation you had to have with yourself, with your trainer, and with your family to come back and step into the ring because your health was at, at hand? Hey, I, th I think I don't, Kel, Kel. I don't know if you heard that, but I think she she mentioned after those two losses the conversations you had with your team and your family about continuing your career. You know, I did have them conversations, but you know, this is this is the game I love and hate. It's all I know. It's it, you know, it, it cleans my mind when I go into the gym and train and let them endorphins off, and you know, it's me living. And I, I I love I love competing with the best. So once we once we healed, you know, and my mindset were right, you know, you know, I, I felt strong. You know, it's like I do, I feel strong now. I don't I don't really think about the the breaks and I feel that I know that my you know I'm I'm stronger than ever so it's right bit right over my head now. You know, I, I, I know that it's that my surgeon, Dr. Muhammad Ali, uh looked after me very well and they call me the terminate and now so I'm ready to uh, walk through walls now. Thank you very much Cynthia. Next we go to Jay Lee from <laughs> second.com. You are unmuted so please ask your question when ready. Hi, okay, Kel. I hope you're all right, mate. Um, Jolie from Seconds Out here. Just as you're aware, I'm sure this is one of the biggest fights, if not the biggest fight of your career. Being as that you're going to leave everything on the line on Saturday night, of course, is there a chance that metaphorically you're going to leave your career on the line and in the ring on Saturday night? I don't know what you mean by that. Metaphorically, you're going to leave everything in the ring on Saturday night and also your boxing career. No, I'm not going to leave my boxing career because I'm going to become victorious and then I'm going to be fighting. Terence Crawford will be coming to England for rematch. So <laughs> it looks like I'll be fighting again, Warner, for, for you to see, actually. You won't have to travel. Yes. Look forward. Oh, sorry. I, I apologize. My apologies. Uh, my apologies for the uh, premature mute there, um, Mr. Lee. I apologize for that. Um, again, everybody, uh, to ask a question. Please uh, go to the raise hand function or send me a direct message, uh, direct message on the queue down below. Or if you can't figure those out, um, just shoot me a text message and I will get to as, I'll get to as many of you um, as, as possible.